Hello, this is Patrick, and I am back with another edition of Heavy Therapy. That's the title of the video that you clicked on and are watching right now. To let you know, this is a review of a brand new split EP from Puke Wraith and Intestinal Hex, and it is called Medieval Grime. And here is the artwork. Really cool wizard casting a hex, casting a spell on a feckless young man who is spewing slime and grime. And um, cool little theme here. I love all the subgenres and themes and aesthetics that are going out that are that are spreading right now in the underground death metal scene. Haven't seen too much, too many um, medieval type. Uh, magical realism, me medieval type themes. Yet that is what initially drawn drew me to this project. So cool artwork. Check uh, cool label and distro putting it out. Gurgling gore and gurgling gore was uh, nice enough to send me this early. I pre-ordered it, but I didn't know that I would be getting it two weeks before the album com comes out. So the album comes out March 25th, and I'm recording this well before March 25th. So this is a split EP, and yeah, let's get into actually who makes up these projects. So Puke Wraith is a one-man project created by Brendan Dean of the band Fumes, and he's also in Gut Void. He does the vocals, guitars, bass, and drum program programming for Puke Wraith. And then we have Intestinal Hex, and that is Daniel Bonifligio, and he is also in the band Fumes and Gut Void. And he does all the instruments, including drums, for Intestinal Hex. So, this meeting of the minds is um, a familiar meeting place because, as I, as, as I just said, these two individuals are already in projects together. So this is kind of cool that um, this is another way for them ex to express themselves. So in general, what do you get? So Puke Wraith and Intestinal Hex both play old school death metal meets modern death metal. That's the core genre, but I'm going to get into the different um, intricacies and sort of um, um, f um, styles that this project comes to, brings to my mind. So uh, it's arranged in a cool way where instead of, you know, you have, instead of having on most splits, you'll have the first band play three tracks, the second band play three tracks, and that's it. They actually go back and forth. So they enter, they, they, they cycle um, they trade off. So the first track, Medieval Grime Part 1, Cursed Through Time, is by Pukrith. The second track, Corpse Crasher, is by Intestinal Hex, and so on. So you'll get a Pukrith song, then an Intestinal Hex song, a Pukrith song, and then an Intestinal Hex song, and that'll happen three different times. Six tracks, 25 minutes or so in length. And so what do you get? So I was trying to think about what these projects sound like. And for Puke Wraith, I think the vocals are a more gravelly, phlegmatic uh, um, Ross Nolan of Immolation. Um, that's kind of what, that's what came to my mind after listening to Puke Wraith on their previous EP and on this split here. So as far as the music, you get, you get just, um, a, uh, let me just say the bands that come to my mind, Undeath, Frenolith, Abraded, Autopsy. That's what I get. That's what I really hear. Um, Thorn is another one that comes to my mind. Um, uh, in fact, the vocals of Puke Wraith Immolation meets abraded might um, might might call to mind um, what this sounds like. So um, 
this is just exciting, grimy death metal. And there's solos on every track. And solos are, you know, not uncommon in the underground, not uncommon in death metal. But they felt exciting. They felt fun. They felt essential to this release. Awesome guitar solos. Both Pugrave and Intestinal Hex give you guitar solos at least one. More than one sometimes on every song here. Um, and they have... I would say like similar styles, but a little bit different. Um, Intestinal Hex really gives you these interesting, catchy, catchy in a death metal sense. Guitar riffs, very, very great riffs. Puke Riff almost has this hardcore punk, uh, slappy bass tone and vibe. It's also just really, really heavy though. Uh, and uh, also have very cool guitar fireworks and whammy bar use, right, and string bending, and this is just a fun release. So, yeah, I already mentioned who this calls to mind. Um, um, Frenolith, the solos, maybe even uh, the intestinal hex solos are thrashy, maybe even dismember or morbid angel. Um, in style as well there's a great big tremolo riff um in this track the furnace watcher by intestinal hex so again on death a braided autopsy um i one of my thoughts i had when i was when i was listening to this was this is like a, a tape i would want to hand to a kid maybe maybe he's skateboarding somewhere maybe he's more of a punkish kid but just give this tape to a kid and be like don't tell your parents, but this is death metal, right? Like, it's just a really fun tape that, yeah, just to me really showcases the um, death metal for death metal's sake sound. Um, and I don't mean that in a slight. Like, I don't mean that they're not serious. This is, they're serious musicians. They care about the craft. But I mean just, this is why people are drawn to death metal right here. So, um, let's go to um, a couple of the individual songs. So, I want to go to the I want to go to track th three, the thickening, and this has this foot stomping four four riff. It has this very cool guitar parts. Again, I think there's a whammy bar, you know, being used, and uh, it has these yeah phlegmatic vocals. Immolation meets Braided, and The Thickening is just a really uh, fun death metal track by Puke Wraith. And then I think I would say Medieval Grind Part 2, which is the final track by Intestinal Hex. This makes me think of Thorn, but I never really, Thorn doesn't grab me. I don't really enjoy Thorn. This is what I would want Thorn to sound like. Uh, this is what a one-man project can sound like without really just making you feel like there's a guy sitting behind his computer playing death metal riffs. Um, and so let's get to the number ranking here. So musicianship, uh, like I said, very talented one-man projects here. Uh, I don't usually go for drum programming, but Puke Wraith has drum programming that doesn't bother me because so much it fits. The tone of it is uh, appropriate and yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, yeah, I'll just give the musicianship an eight, an 8.5 or so. Um, so creativity, I'm actually gonna give this overall aesthetic concept ethos. It has a fun swagger to it. So this to me is a creative project. I'm gonna give it a nine. Vocals and lyrics, I also give it a nine. Uh, I actually would say Brendan's vocals in Puke Wraith took me the most to get used to. And now I find myself liking Puke Wraith maybe a slight bit more than Intestinal Hex, uh, to be honest. But that wasn't uh, 
that wasn't my initial impression. That wasn't, um, I'm actually more familiar with intestinal hex before I hit play on this cassette. So Puke Wraith won me over. That's my favorite part of this split EP. Uh, and lyrics. So again, I said this is fun, right? So the first track really details the um, cover art here. Talks about being sent back in time by a wizard. And he thought he'd be a king. But here he is just being a peasant. And he's married to his peasant wife. And they're having peasant children. And he's bummed out. And uh, he's cursed. He's cursed through time. And then uh, Intestinal Hex brings you to super dark um, songs about, uh, yeah, stuff that I can't endorse. Um, and hopefully he doesn't actually endorse it either, you know, but just really real track two is called Corpse Crasher. Uh, really dark, visceral, uh, Sub, uh, subject matter for intestinal hex here. And then another song by Puke Wraith is track five. It's called UWF. And I was like, what does UWF, UWF stand for? And he says it in the song, The Undead Wrestling Federation. So just funny, very evocative. Um, what this album brings to your mind is kind of interesting while you're listening to it. Um, definitely grimy. Um, and, um, medieval at times, uh, especially in the ethos. So yeah, fun vocals and lyrics. I give it a nine out of 10. Uh, so overall, this is one of my favorite EPs of the year. I've, I've only listened to a handful, maybe five, six or seven, uh, but it's very good. It's very fun. Again, it's uh, something I would, I would show to people regarding like, why do you like death metal? Well, here it is, 25 minutes of Shreddy guitar solos, heavy, heavy guitar riffs, uh, out of this world, bestial vocals, and uh, yeah, just an overall fun aesthetic that you sometimes want with death metal. And uh, this gives you that in spades. So thank you all for watching. This has been a review of Medieval Grime by Puke Wraith. Awesome name, by the way, Intestinal Hex, and their, their split EP, and uh, out on Gurgling Gore. Check it out. It's worth 25 minutes, then it's worth playing again and again. Thank you for watching. Talk to you all soon. Bye.